To expect defeat is nine-tenths of defeat itself. Greetings, my name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Receiver 2. You know, I guess, considering that uh, this is the this game actually has, you know, like, all the tapes and such from other receivers, this you could use the uh, Alien franchise style of sequel names and call it Receivers, but that would be even more annoying than calling it Receiver 2, so I won't do that. Alright, last time we figured out what the purpose of this was. So now we can start uh, decoding... Uh, the the notes. Oh, I, I didn't read this one, did I? Hmm, whatever. Okay. Let's see, I've done that one already. Now jam two. Two, one, three, three, four, two, eight, one. Remember that. Because I won't. Uh, three, three. Four, two. Why are they all scattered like this? Eight, one. Ah, that sounds terrible. Yay! Serendipity and death. Whatever that means. Only one skill. Hey, fuck you. Come on. I hate this thing. I wish I could just hear the tapes like normal, but no. Oh. I hate this thing so much. The threat has buried a caustic idea deep in our collective psyche. That one mistake undoes all previous effort. That somehow the failures count much more than the successes. That temporary setbacks are permanent, or that permanent setbacks are the same as no progress at all. The fundamental process of accomplishing any goal is to be able to overcome the inevitable setbacks. Focus your mind's eye on this universal process. This setback has given you the opportunity to train the foundational skill that all skills are built on. Grit. Hi. I can drink to that. Alright. It's a... Uh... Yeah, especially relevant when it comes to this game, because of course, setbacks in this game mean going back to a previous level because you're dying, or in Receiver 1, going back to the start, but that doesn't mean you're not making progress, you know? Well, maybe you don't. Let's see, 4, 2, 5, 3, 9, 1. Five. There, that annoying place. Come on. And then it was how old was that? Nine one, okay. To fall to rise. A good uh, that's a topical thing, considering what I was just talking about. Damn it. Uh, this game doesn't really have that. There's no HP or anything. Oh, damn. Even though the mind kill is still imminent, many of us feel as though we have already lost friends and loved ones to the threat. Funny, vibrant, interesting people reduced to repeating nonsense phrases ad nauseum. Or dead. Their genuine interests set aside for a non-stop flood of degrading media. I know people like that. Your own desires and values are bound inextricably to those around you, and when those ties are damaged, so also are the things you care about. You may find yourself listless, bored, unable to focus. To understand the horror of the mind kill requires one to value humanity, which requires meaningful relationships with other people. Cultivate these when you can. Eh, I'll try. I've got it. One or two, but... Yeah, well. 
Like you said, when you can, you can't always. Anyways. Any others? Aha! 618293. Fuck. How old is it? Nine to be okay. All right, thirteen three fifteen one. Thirteen three with that. Easy. Genetic drifter. Ooh, that's an interesting title. Aha! Here we go. The heck is this? Receiver man. Fucking okay then. We've got our own fucking superhero apparently. I can dig it. Receiver man. Receiver man. Receiver man. This one's special. Ooh. Six one ten three. I don't know if the order I do them in matters. Probably not. But all right. Twelve three fifteen two. But it costs me nearly nothing to make sure. Although, of course, nearly nothing is not the same thing as nothing. You shouldn't do things just to be sure. You should do them because they're the right thing to do. Don't be cautious, be correct. Little Green Giant. What the fuck is this? Music Head Unlocked. Ah. Alright. Neat. <laughs> I think that's all the ones I have. Let me just check. Yeah. Seems to be everything. All right. Really get these random miscellaneous challenge dome things to the oh, challenge dome. Let's try out this one with a, with a turret's easy challenge, apparently. Not sure what that high score means, but alright, let's give it a go. Alright. Oh, I see. No, oh, fuck. Ah. Up. I've just got to hit the uh, thingamajigs. A bit odd, but alright. Uh, we'll see. Right, 9 millimeter. Okay, then. Apparently, unlocked another. Ah. Alright. Neat. So that's the case that I guess all the rewards come in, like, or something. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Another pretty piss poor showing. Come on.
Ooh. Nope, fuck. Double feed. In some cases, the extractor can fail to grip the spent cartridge, causing the next cartridge to get stuck behind it. If the slide won't close and the magazine won't come out, you probably have a double feed. Alright, to clear double feed, pull back to slide and manually lock it. R, T, and release R. Take the pressure off the jam, then pull the magazine out, rack the slide. Jesus. <laughs> it's good. Well, okay then. Alright. Hang on, what? R, L, T, L, T, release R. Okay. Oh. What? I'm doing what it says. Hold R, hold T, release R. Release R. No. Ah, it's not working. I'm doing exactly what they told me to do, and it's just not working. What the fuck? There we go. I had to fucking turn the safety on for some reason. What the heck? There we go. Fucking inaccurate instructions, I guess. That just straight up did not do anything. Okay, I just... That, that just seemed impossible to clear in a reasonable amount of time. I just gotta sort of hope that I don't get it in the middle of the, one of these. Okay. With three component destroyed and extra points for each turret disabled. I assume that means like moving each of them? I don't know. Huh? Oh. Ah fuck. Ah, should have. Never mind. Ah fuck, out of battery. Sometimes the slide gets stuck just before returning home, leaving an incomplete seal on the ejection port and a non-functional trigger. Solution, you can solve this problem just by pushing the slide the rest of the way forward. Alright, you can also solve the problem by backing the slide, but we'll likely eject a good round. Alright. Ah. Damn it. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be... This is just full terrible. I mean, come on. Literally every time I've been... What I've been... After the first time, I've just been getting a bunch of malfunctions. What the heck is this? Ah. Come on. Let's just sing a lemon. What? How is that missing? It's dead on target! What? Are you shitting me? All of those missed? They were dead on target! Fuck, this thing is garbage! Jesus! It just doesn't fucking function! Constant missing, horribly inaccurate sight, and constant fucking malfunctions? Jesus. What? What? Oh, and it just straight up didn't fucking feed. Lovely. What next? Is it gonna fucking go off in my in pocket? Fucking. Ah! No! Damn it! Ah, fuck. Jesus, this is just constant issues. What is this garbage? This is just a worthless pistol. This is supposed to... My point is, these things are supposed to be like... Re... One of the selling points is they're supposed to be really reliable. I mean, the inaccuracy I guess I can get, but... Come on! I literally...
No. Oh fuck. What? No. What? Why is it stuck? Ah! Constant issues. Constant. Oh for. Oh, wait, why is this empty? Oh, damn it. Noted. I don't know. This thing is just unusable. Jesus Christ. Constant malfunctions. Literally constant. Like in every fucking mode. Yeah, no. I'd rather- I'll take the fucking... Revolver over that any day. Jesus. Dang it, I really like that's, that weapon that's designed, but it's just not usable. No? How the fuck was I supposed to get a higher score than that? What? I got everything! Use the tire's weak spot, get points, and each my face for the table. What does that even mean? Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I see. Ugh, man. When am, where am I gonna get a fucking bolt? Okay, I don't know why I've got to put it in that computer to activate it in the shooting range. That seems a bit backwards, but all right. That's it. All right, so... Can I hit the set? Oh, okay, I can't... Can I hit the same one multiple times? Okay, yes. Okay, I was wait so I was waiting time to shoot the other ones. Okay. Fuck. Nice. What I get? Uh, 
I wanna... Oh, god damn it, it's not letting me... Fucking... Ah... There we go. Jesus. Why does somebody just not let me... Just open the damn thing. Let's try that again, shall we? What do you mean invalid distance? It's the same distance as before. I wonder. There's no way this works, right? Okay, yeah. I think that one went... Come on, get- um... What the fuck? Why are you refusing to get up? There we go. Well, I can gain- Riveting gameplay, I'm sure. Yeah, pretty good. But not all of them? Could have sworn that was ten shots. Easily. Yeah, that was twelve. What? Why is this still going? Uh. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't know how this works. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think. Okay, oh, okay. I've got to go further back. All right. Oh, I'm probably to reset it, damn it. Okay. Is it actually gonna work this time? Stepping away from you doesn't reset it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Come on! Don't, it doesn't even look like I'm hitting it for the ones that are actually working. Damn it! Doing perfect, incredibly well, and then it just. just 
This is really boring, by the way. Uh, why would I even do this? Like, goddamn. What's even the point of this? This is just dull city. It's just... It's not even teaching me useful uh, useful skills for receiving. I know useful skills for receiving. This isn't it. Find yourself in a position where you're trying to pinpoint a shot from that distance on that tiny of an area. Get closer, dumbass. Or go for a or go for one of the larger parts. Don't waste your ammo on stupid shots like that. Training there is just going to get you overconfident and get you killed. Or just it's more it seems more toxic than anything. What do I know? I don't even know how to fucking unlock the different weapons. Yeah. Alright then. Nothing? That's odd. <laughs> no. Okay, there we go. Oh, I've just barely not. The SIG-226? What? Ah. The SIG Sour. That's what. Yeah, 9mm. With a double stack magazine that's not shown here. Okay, let's see if we can find some more secrets then, shall we? Because this whole challenge dome crap is boring me to tears. Jesus. I don't know what's, why the six hours is so damn I see all of a sudden. I was holding it down and everything. Okay. Find any other secrets? May have. Let's see. Do I have any notes that I haven't found yet? Let's see. Furthest ledge. Have that. Have that. Oh, right. I just remembered. There was another path I could have gone up in that uh, ventilation shaft. Ah, uh, but which one was it? Hang on. I think it went down that one. What's this way then? A tape, for one. Ow. And nothing else. Alright then. Receiving. Ooh. Ow.
In our world of shadows, reality B, advanced receivers may hear a voice. If you are unattuned or at a deeper level, you will hear the same voice but without words, the feeling of knowledge from outside of yourself. Those compromised by the threat become utterly convinced that implanted thoughts and ideas are their own. The receiver understands the opposite. Your mind tech is built from existing ideas. Where these ideas come from, and if they are safe to use, must be ascertained. Once you become familiar with the process of watching the flow of ideas moving around you from one place to another, you will learn to recognize those thoughts that seem to have no obvious origin. Scrutinize these thoughts. All right. Anywhere else I can go? Not really sure. Like, seriously, like, every single time I, I pull that out without the safety on, it immediately fires. That's ridiculous. It's how I just, like, really prone to malfunction? That's just unlikely. What the fuck are these, anyways? They've gone up. Hmm... I don't know. Dulker entity, what the fuck? Alright then. I think I've gotten everything I can get out of this damn compound for now. I because I've got absolutely no idea where else to go. This feels a lot smaller than it used to. this ledge. Huh. Here's that. Far this from where, anyways? And what the fuck is even the point of these goddamn balloons? I know I've already found that secret somehow. I'm running around in circles, running around in circles, running around in circles, running around in. Ow. Got no indication of whether or not I've actually completed these challenges. Unless it's except when it's very obvious.
And I've gone completely all the way around. Yay. Fragile. Kill my finger. Well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Yeah. I think it's probably time to. Stop dilly-dallying and head back into the dreaming. Let's take a short break and come back. All right. Back here at last. My really shitty magazines. What's... Ah, yeah, space line, because I took a nasty fall that was all of, like, seven feet. Eh, well. Well, I'm sure there's some apes down at the baseline that I haven't gotten yet. Oh yeah! I wonder what's through here. Is that an actual vent entrance? Ah, fuck. I'm not certain. Kinda hard to actually get in, so I'm leaning towards... No. Yeah, I'm not certain that's possible to get in. Yeah, whatever. Is this a good idea? Probably not. Ow! Well, it worked! So, I guess, retroactively speaking, it was a good idea. Not certain it had any actual utility, but hey, it didn't kill me, so... Good enough. Hello, beautiful. U.S. Marine Colonel Jeff Cooper's first rule of gun safety is... Hang on. Yeah, okay. ...that guns are always oh. loaded. <laughs> Even if you've just unloaded it seconds ago or seen someone else do it, treat it as if it's still loaded. You may know that it's empty, but you must practice your mind tech threading and believe both facts at once. Unless you are currently seeing and feeling that the chamber is empty, the weapon is in a state of quantum uncertainty, controlled by the threat. In that state, if you point it at a kill drone and fire, the threat will collapse that waveform into an empty chamber, leading to a click instead of a bang. If oh, your kid finds a yeah. gun and points it at another kid, the threat will collapse that waveform into a loaded chamber, leading to a bang instead of a click. Never, ever let the threat make this kind of decision for you. Quite so. Shit. Now that was a nasty one. Say, don't be cautious, be correct. Ooh. Boogerman. What? I finally fell asleep.
For days, I was too scared to even try. What if the drones find me? What if a turret materializes in the room with me? So I slept under a bed in the apartment, like a child hiding for the boogeyman. Or boogerman, as my little girl used to call him. Audrey had a whole raft of funny words like that, but she was always completely serious about them. Daddy? Is the boogerman green? God, I miss her. Sounds like quite the gal. Okay. Ah. What kind of rotation are we looking at? Ah, there we go. A little bit of blue up there. That's all I need. Probably. Hmm. I don't see it now. Uh, is there another way we can I can go? Uh, I, think I might be able to get down. If I jump like that, maybe. The risk, but it's a lesser risk than that nonsense. There we go. Easy as pie. Although, for any of you who are cooks, well... Well, no, that pie isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world. It's hardly the most... Well, it depends on the type of pie, I suppose. And, like, whether you're making it completely from scratch or not. You know? Well, maybe you don't. Oh, shit. That misfire was straight up on me. I just straight up click left click when I meant to click right click. That's pretty atrocious. Ooh. Yoink. And ding. Might be safer to go down. Mm, maybe not. I hear you. Hello, beautiful. Cooper's third rule of gun safety is to keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. There are many physiological reactions that can cause your hand to uh, tighten involuntarily. If your finger is on the trigger and you're surprised or stumble or tighten the other hand, the gun will fire and make a hole in whatever it's pointed at. This is especially important when drawing or holstering. Like takeoffs and landings in aircraft, this is when most accidents occur. If your attention wanders for a second and you try to holster your gun without removing your finger from the trigger, you will shoot yourself in the leg. If you are trying to draw quickly, you can easily grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. Yep. And if you're trying to wipe your ass, you can easily gra pull, uh, grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. If you're... On a late summer of the day, having a picnic with your loved one, you can easily grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. If you're just minding your own business in a medieval time period, where firearms haven't been invented yet, you can easily grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. Basically, fuck you. Yeah! Wasn't there an achievement for that? Or did I already get that one? Oh, damn it, I already got that one. 
Also, if you're singing the eight ball in this part of pocket, you're not much of a fool, sorry. Oh. Oh no. Alright. Now then. Let me test a beery. Yeah. I think so. This Gotta break all the uh, noise. The achievement for breaking all the noisy ones. But most of them you can just smash like this, but some of them, these ones, you can't for some reason. Fortunately, this is the rank where I've got a million fucking. Uh, what was this? Uh. Shit. There we go. See, it works with this one, but not the fucking... Uh, what was it, the six hour? Or was it the... High point? Oh, I think it was both of them, actually. Hang on, those ones are smashed already, aren't they? Oh. Might as well double tap. It's not like I'm low on ammo ever on this rank. This is the sort of rank that if it were like if you get if you had this sort of ammo this, the sort of ammo that you get in this rank, plus the actual like amount of enemies from the higher ranks, this would that would be the sort of rank that Fucking the Glock's automatic mode would actually come in handy in. The mind kill degrades the condition of firearms, making them much more likely to malfunction. You tell you can clear you're most telling me. malfunction by tapping the magazine to make sure it's seated, racking the slide to chamber a new round. And then bang, you're ready to go. Tap, rack, bang. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, there's ones up there too. Damn it. I really like this fucking achievement. It's been eluding me far too long. Sounds like an insect up here or something. There we go. Finally, break all the noisy arcade machines. Hell yeah! Ooh. Downward dog. After a while, I started to notice a strange pattern. Sometimes near the end of the class. I would see a person or two look up, as if they heard a noise. It seemed kind of weird, but my hearing isn't that great anymore after so much time around gunfire and explosions. I'd also started grabbing some coffee after class with another member, Amy. We were just friends hanging out, but things seemed to be going well. One day, during Downward Dog, I noticed her do the thing, like she heard a sound. At coffee afterward, I asked her about it, and she clammed up right away. I pressed her a little bit, and she blurted out, you have to stop watching TV. After that, there was always some reason she was a bit too busy to go out for coffee. Eh. Okay then. How oddly circumspect of her. Why was she avoiding him though? That's interesting. Also, I mean, it doesn't exactly give off the right uh, the right vibes. I mean, you're making it seem like you're in some kind of fucking cult or something. Ah, oh, well. I hear you. And you too. But also the turret, I mean. Many theories exist on the nature of the mind. Do we live in a simulation? Probably not. Are our thoughts the result of chemicals and structures formed by 
random mutations. Not exactly random, but kind or of. perhaps you are gifted with a soul by a higher power. Maybe? I don't know. The reason these questions I don't persist is because previous attempts have failed to find a convincing answer. What is clear is that the mind harbors immense power over perception, and that changing perception changes the most important aspects of reality. True. I suppose. Personally, I don't think we're gifted with a soul, even if we do have a soul. It, uh... As they say, you know, something given has no value, which isn't entirely true. But it is true in a sense. True like an arrow, as Peterson would say. Did you know that Peter, uh, uh, Jordan Peterson makes uh, writes fan fiction? Well, I don't actually know that, but there's someone with the username J Peterson making fan fiction, and I prefer to think that it's him because that is just an infinitely more entertaining universe to live in. <laughs> oh no. That's not quite right, but I just, it, it doesn't harm it. I mean, if I, uh, well. On, where are you? Ah, no. Yeah? No, that's not a tape, that's just a card machine. Did it say our card machine? The Sargon of our card machine. There you are, beautiful. Past events that have caused recurring negative thoughts and emotions are called I was, mental trauma. I was just quoting this tape of the, this uh, earlier the today. Of a sudden shift in perception building blocks of our self-concept are ideas about the world and our place in it. When these ideas turn out to be false, it causes a chain reaction that can threaten every aspect of our life. While removing one brick from a tower can cause it to collapse, that does not mean that the problem was widespread. It was a failure in a single element. Yeah. This demonstrates how critical each belief is, and how finding and removing false beliefs early can prevent a catastrophic chain reaction. Yeah, that's my life's work, I suppose. Finding and removing them. But, well... Trouble is, I don't have enough knowledge about how to create solid building blocks, so to speak, you know? Well, maybe you don't. There's so much full of bad information out there, it's hard to find. But yeah, if you're looking for... Uh, I, there was a... the reason why I was quoting this earlier, it was a reference... it was in conjunction with a, uh, a song by this band, The Yo Hellos, and uh, their whole, they have this whole fucking, uh, series of albums. Really, it's more, more or less their, ah, shit. Most of their, uh, which is pretty much, pretty much all of their, like, albums. Especially starting with Dear Wormwood, sort of chronicle person's journey in a similar sort of uh, similar sort of vein as this game overcoming the, uh, the mental threats that plague them and the false and rooting out false beliefs and and cut it and yeah cutting out those that initially seem like birds of a feather but are actually just the voice of the thread. I don't know, something like that, anyways. It's really interesting. You gotta sort of read between the lines quite a bit, and 
there's a lot of like religious symbolism, but overall it's more it's more just using it's less it's not uh, it's it's less about religion and more using that sort of religious symbolism as metaphors for the journey or something like that oh and yeah and when it does use it does refer to religion in more blatant and less more affordable term that's not exactly particularly flattering, despite the cope by religious sophists who try to claim it as their own. One of these days I should really go for that uh, achievement for getting through without without Firing a shot, or was it without killing anything? I forget. Have I? I don't think. Yeah, I haven't actually fired a shot so far. You know what? Fuck it, I might as well. Well, if I can, I'm not gonna put my life on the line in stupid ways just to pull that off, but. What was the exact words for it? Death Witch. Without, sh without no, that's without shooting any anywhere enemies. Um, that's the first without firing a shot. Okay, so hacking should ha should still work. Let me look that up just to be sure. Let me just another gun. But I don't have any annoying. <laughs> don't have to worry about it. Misfires screwing me. Or. <laughs> I'd hate to Glock like myself and screw myself out of achievement in the process. That being said, there is an achievement for Glock lagging. Better God if it's. One tool used by the threat is called the anti-pattern. The threat cultivates an atmosphere of terror and anxiety around trivial risks, providing a suitable environment for them to inject fixes for these non-problems. Invariably, the actual purpose of these solutions is to create new issues that were worse than the initial situation. <laughs> by associating the search for solutions with new problems, the mind becomes locked in a hopeless state with no clear path forward. We have developed a mind attack for people trapped in this anti-pattern. Like, like a that. hall of mirrors, this construct is based on illusions and is easily shattered. Imagine that you have changed your mind about something you would never doubt. Act like you believe this new truth for an hour, a day, a week. Do things make more sense. This is the feeling of breaking free. Huh. Not a bad idea. And remember, it's not, it's, do things make more sense, not do you feel better? Hmm. I don't think I could bust through that wall. I might be able to shoot through it, but first of all, the accuracy will be shit, and second of all, I can't shoot, so. I could probably I could probably bait out its shots now that I think about it. Hmm. It's a good solid wall. It's less less all well, not that solid. Hang on. Okay, brick walls can stop most guns, most bullets from guns. However, uh, high-powered rifles can pierce through it. And I and I know that I don't know. I'm not entirely certain the caliber of shots fired or the f type of rifle they use. I'm pretty sure, pretty certain they, they use rifle rounds. So I'm not certain if they can fire through this. Hmm. 
And e but even if they can, I should be able to just run far enough that they lo that they just aren't able to a accurately fire at me. So wait. Damn it. I'm doing it! Ah. Uh, oh. Oh damn it! I had already gotten the tease achievement. Damn! Uh, so that was way less useful than I thought it was. Damn it! That's annoying. I don't even know why I'm popping picking up these the same mill. Mine deck, I suppose. There you are. I hear you. Beautiful. Close your eyes and imagine that you are a cloud floating over eyes, the audience. city. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Imagine a kill drone weaving between the buildings. Hold. The drone looks up, seeing the dark cloud. Breathe out. It starts flying towards cover. Pause. Bang. Lightning blasts it to sparkle in pieces. Breathe in. Breathing is vital to life. In order to project deadly force with precision, a receiver temporarily becomes one with death and pauses the breath. Oof. Yeah, oh, what was I doing? Ah, right. Pass the zone. Personally, I... Well, I'm not exactly against... Passive... Well, sort of. My feelings on pacifism are... Uh, mixed. Kind of. Broadly speaking, I'm not a big fan of it. Mercy. Now, mercy. That's a worthy t uh, thing. Obviously. But. Most receivers are initially skeptical. Uh. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. But, uh, what are you... Yeah, when it comes to pacifism, I just... It feels like moral cowardice. You're outsourcing the question of, okay, is this moral to just an absolute... Just no. Violence is just immoral, absolutely, more, more or less. There's some uh, gray, there's some gradient when it comes to pacifism, but generally speaking, it's a. Uh, I. It's just generally, it's just 
there are a lot of situations where where non-violence is just immoral it, it just plain it just straight up immoral uh and there are a lot of situations where violence might not be the most moral choice but it is a moral choice uh, pacifism just and when it comes to pacifism in games <laughs> it's even more ridiculous been writing this one uh like like one of the things that people always like to talk about undertale undertale is just kind of ridiculous just it would, i would struggle to think of a better example of a of a situation where straight up killing everyone in sight would be the uh, would be a more I would struggle to think of a situation to dream up a situation where that's more uh, where killing ev uh, killing basically everyone you encounter is a more moral decision because god damn not a I, basically none of the people in that game not only do they deserve, to, not only do they kind of deserve to die, no, kind of is too too weak. They straight up deserve it, but they, but it's also like even if they, even if they didn't, even if you're, or even if you're not someone who wants to, you know, be the moral judge or the uh, executioner of that, they're straight up actively trying to murder you. And even the ones who, even the very, very few people that aren't, are, well, you could be forgiven for thinking they are? Or, alternatively, in the case of, in the case of, say, Toriel, well, she might not be trying to murder you, but she is trying to, well, she's, you know, straight up throwing fireballs at you and trying to, and, and, and try to imprison you, it, wrongfully imprison you so yeah all of the all of the death kills that you do, do in undertale are completely reasonable self-defense or could be argued as self-defense or reasonable under the circumstances i just don't I've thought long and hard on it. I've even I'm even writing a fan fiction uh, on the uh, face uh, I'm even writing an Undertale fan fiction at the moment. Well, not at the moment, but you know what I mean. Uh, recent uh, uploaded a new chapter a few days ago, and it just pacifism just seems just does not seem like a moral decision there. I mean, you could. I mean, you could argue. Oh well, he's not. Well, he's got the resets and all that. He said, you know, so he's not actually gonna die permanently. Well, first of all, they don't. The monsters don't know that. And second of all, um, second of all, you st you you still go through, you know, the injury and death and all that. So that could still be con considered, well, torture essentially. Or the or you know assault and battery, attempted murder, and you know so going through the whole, and I certainly wouldn't want to go through the horrible pain of being torn to shreds and or or whatever or being burned alive or anything like that. I'd kill to avoid going through that certainly easily. Well, I mean not easily. I it probably wouldn't be easy to kill people. It depends on who it is, I suppose. Uh, and what weapons I have at my disposal, you know? But... You get what I'm saying, though, don't you? Surely you do. And if you don't, well... Shit. Anyways. All about the existence of the threat. This is a good sign. A receiver should maintain a, a healthy mental immune system that consistently questions the evidence for all beliefs, both old and new. 
Yep. A receiver never maintains a belief just because it's the first one they've heard or because it's the culture they were born into. Or alternatively, because it's the new However, thing. In this case, the appropriate behavior is the same, whether you believe in the literal existence of the threat or not. If it doesn't exist, you will have strengthened your mind and trained your body for nothing. But aren't those goals inherently worthy? Indeed. In this case, the means of defeating the threat are valid ends in and of themselves. Then I said it better myself. Well, maybe I could have, but I didn't. Shit. Wait, what am I doing? What? Damn it! See, this is another reason why I need to unload the, the gun. The instinct. God damn. I'm really upset if I had screwed up my messages to run like that. And I'm going to be really upset if it turns out that firing your gun you know, also counts if you had no bullets in it. That'd be dick-rippingly aggravating. Mm, this is a bit awkward. Oh shit. Hi. This is very awkward. I'm just gonna go by. What's well is there even anything that way? No. Okay, I'm gonna go back then. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna have to backtrack so fucking far just to find somewhere else I can go. Well not that far, I suppose. Shit. Thank goodness it doesn't turn this far. Where's the other? I hear another turret. Okay, this is really stupid. <laughs> Just gotta time it. Oh, that was easier than I expected. When your firearm discharges, it cycles another round into the chamber. Your own internal feedback systems are critical. You are the weapon, and mind attacks are your internal mechanism. A slight misfit of components will cause a feed jam, leading to a misfire, resulting in death. Ensuring Sometimes. that each mind tech is within tolerances will enable your proper operation and survival. But, <laughs> but who's operating me? Or is that just me, as in the me from reality A? Or what have you. Oh wow, that was easy. Humans are curious creatures, always hungry for information. Oh, I thought, you were, I thought you were saying they're curious as in they're weird. But both are accurate, I suppose. The threat has found a way to turn this strength into a fatal weakness. They force feed us from a fire hose of narratives designed to agitate and demoralize us, leaving our minds exhausted and crowding out our own thoughts. 
They divide the world into false dichotomies and demand we choose between obvious lies. To become a receiver, you must reject this choice. I spent my whole life doing that, one way or another. And there we go! Pacifist. God, this song is beautiful. Sweeter than a thousand singing angels. And yet it's never quite so sweet listening to it on its own. Isn't that funny? Alrighty then. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Well, actually... Malfunctions shouldn't be as... Damn, that shouldn't be quite as damaging as they were... In, uh, back in the compound because very, because a very fast firing doesn't really matter quite so much in most situations. Now I'm getting a malfunction while I while I'm being chased by a kill drone that could be a problem. But no, nah, but really when I'm being chased by one, usually it's better to just run away until it doesn't see me anymore than get. Nice shot. But anyways, this is a damn sexy gun. Look at this. A storm is approaching, and I am the storm. Or something like that. To love someone is to strive to accept that person exactly the way they are. Hmm. More or less. <laughs> yeah, all the people who say I can change him or whatever are, well, fools. All right. So, that seems like a good time to, a place to stop. Next time, I'll, well, probably do more of the same, more or less. Gonna get more tapes, more floppy disks, and all that. And find more secrets. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers. Okay, kid.